Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dax here. Today I wanted to talk about the edge in grip. Um, a lot of guys out there like Scott from Libre and um, Craig Douglas from Shipworks are uh, popularizing this and selling blades that are primarily held with the edge in. And some of these blades uh, can be rather expensive, it must be said. Now what I mean by this, usually when you hold a knife right, the edge is out, so you can deliver your cuts. Um, edge in means that you're holding it the opposite, with the edge facing you. Now, you might ask why, you know, why would one do this, right? Uh, primarily, it's uh, at a very close range, and it's used for, um, basically, to free yourself from grips. It's, like a, it's basically for anti-grappling. So if somebody tries to grab you, right, you could pull out using uh, the muscles of your back and you could even engage your shoulders and hips to pull out of it. Uh, the guy's very strong. And in Libre, you know, they use everything uh, from what I've seen uh, in ice pick grip. And but same thing applies, you know, they stab, somebody grabs and then on the way out, they get cut. Um, but what I want to say is that just like many things that are popular today, uh, this is an old technique, okay? Um, my first find of it is uh, in Emil Andre's book. This is one of primary knife fencing sources that I study. Uh, Emil Andre, as you can see, he, he was believed in being well-rounded. Uh, he studied savat, pugilism. Um, for grappling, he did uh, catch wrestling in Japanese jiu-jitsu. And um, he does do cane, but the the the, um, the really cool section is the knife uh, because he, he really expands upon and gives really great advice on on uh, knife fighting. And another uh, source that you could see this in is if you look at uh, a lot of the old Bowie illustrations and even in. Uh, some Western movies where you see Bowie knife duels, you'll see them using it with the edge in. Sometimes, yes, they use it edge out, okay, but this is more for long range, and uh, once you get closer, that's when you switch to edge in. Now, if you do want to buy, you know, one of these uh, clinch picks or Libre ice pick uh, uh, knives, go right ahead, right? Uh, more power to you. But um, it must be said, you could get the same effect, right? Uh, especially if you want like an EDC blade, uh, cold steel cells, this mini Bowie, um, and it's really easy to go back and forth from your uh, thumb up fencing grip to the uh, reverse. Uh, you, some people call this the mountain man grip. Uh, I call this the sandbar grip. Um, in the future, I'm going to do a uh, longer video detailing uh, Jim Bowie's life um, because um, he popularized this from the sandbar duel. Uh, a lot of people like the other video that I did on the Spanish influence, um, the possible Spanish influence of, of the Bowie, um, but there's also a uh, French influence as well. Um, so I, I'm probably actually gonna do a, a whole uh, video on, on Jim Bowie's life because it, it, it's a fascinating story must, uh, that must be told. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, of course, with a, a real quick with, with a, a dagger, you don't even need to do the switch, right? Because it's, it's sharp on both sides, right? So <laughs> it's even easier with a dagger, right? But um, I'm still going to do the Bowie uh, uh, video. It's going to be a longer video, but uh, I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy it. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time.